If you're looking to buy some advanced GG, you could use my code Walla for 10% off. Thank you. Hey, what's going on guys? Walla here. I got some really, really cool stuff for you guys. For Witch Queen, we have the new Glaive, uh, and everyone should get this when they first start the story missions. I know a lot of people can't get in the game right now, but I got very, very lucky. Uh, and my friend here, the reason why I'm on his account is because he has Glaive Scavenger from the Artifact mod, and if you don't have that on, it's very, very hard to use this thing. Before we continue with the video, obviously this is sponsored by Prime Gaming. I think every single one of you knows what Prime is, even your parents probably know, and uh, I want to show you guys just a bunch of different stuff you can get from owning Prime Gaming, including a bunch of skins and currencies for over 30 different games, like PUBG's on here, and I know a lot of you probably play Apex Legends, Legends because it's very, very popular at the moment. If you see something you like, you just press on it and claim the loot. You gotta claim it quick because everything is on a limited time and it always gets refreshed every single month. Obviously, we're all here for Destiny 2, and uh, Prime Gaming is giving away a bundle for completely free. The Pyrrhic Victory Exotic Bundle Drop is only available until March 3rd, uh, so that's not very long at all. You might want to hurry up and grab it, and I know almost every single one of you already owns Prime Gaming, so you might as well just log on and claim it for yourself. It's literally free loot. If any of this was interesting to you, make sure you check the link in the description down below. Thank you again for Prime Gaming for sponsoring the video. Now, let's get back to it. Okay, so this thing's pretty damn simple. Uh, you have a long range melee attack, you shoot, uh, it costs one bullet obviously, and it does 131 damage, and the range isn't that great on it either. Uh, if you go a little further back, you'll start to hit them for like 70s and 80s. Uh, but the really cool thing about this is it has a melee attack on it, and the lunge is a lot further than normal melee attacks, but it only does 75. But it, you could do it really, really quickly and combo it, and it actually takes the same amount of time to double melee as it does to triple melee with this thing. And it's pretty damn awesome. So every time you hit them with the long range attack, you get a uh, bar on the bottom. You can see there's a little like U under my crosshair. And every time I hit someone, uh, it charges up a little bit. And I'm going to kind of show you guys how much it could charge up and actually what it does. So he's using a 140 RPM right now. And I'm going to ADS to show you guys I take less damage. So normally a palindrome does uh, 40 to, uh, 70 to the head. But now how much does it do? Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so it literally acts like you're blocking with a normal sword, which is pretty awesome. But you do have to hit them with your uh, shots to charge that bar up. A few more things I want to point out with this thing for those who want to take it into the Crucible when you unlock it. Uh, one disappointing factor is when you shoot with this thing, you can't actually melee right away. And I think it is a balancing thing, but in terms of like shotguns, I don't get why you can shotgun and melee right away. Uh, but with this thing, you can't. And this is not as good as a shotgun. Yeah, it has more range, but it's a projectile, which kind of triggers me because uh, you, you lose a lot of gunfights in terms of trying to melee afterwards. Something else that's kind of annoying, but I know is a balancing thing, is after you get a successful triple melee hit, you actually can't do anything after the combo. You're kind of locked in and uh, you can't shoot or melee. You're just kind of stuck for a second, and uh, it could get you killed sometimes. Uh, not all the time, but if your melee does whiff in the melee combo, you won't kill them either. Although I can't really show you guys a melee whiff, it does happen quite frequently, and um, it's kind of it's kind of frustrating because you got to wait like a second or two after the melee combo that actually do damage. So that's another thing to keep in mind. One last thing to keep in mind, if you're playing Hunter, I would highly suggest using the Echo of Leeching Fragment because it actually does count as a melee kill with this thing. So uh, if they damage me, here, hold on. If they damage me and I get a melee kill, I actually start to regen because this does count as a melee kill, which is pretty damn awesome. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys some gameplay. It's only one gameplay. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. Recording? No! I was not recording. I got two sick kills just now. Oh, dude, it fucking ghosts so much. Damn it. I, I should have been recording. I got two awesome kills. You guys could have seen that the glaive this guy is gonna come right at me i'd assume obviously he's gonna be doing some weird jumps here and there this is a noob man <laughs> where are you going someone's behind me i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it real with you guys this is really hard to use like very very tough to use i'm still trying to understand how it works and stuff but i've been getting dumpstered by shotgun users like really really hard behind me going for heavy ammo it's not you can kind of like swap to it and stuff but again like in that situation right there i just i cut you, it takes a long time to melee after a shot which is really really frustrating uh when you're caught when your melee combos whiff if one of the melees whiffs it takes a long time to get out of the animation and stuff like that really uh makes this thing i i guess i could say balanced oh shit 
Thank you for helping me. We are kind of screwed now, though. He's not dead. He has a glaive, too. This guy's two tapped. Woo! We're probably dead here, I'd assume. I'm gonna get out, though. And see if we can survive. I do have a snare. We're gonna go invis. Some guy's really close left side. We hit him once, and he's gonna be running away. See, like, right there, it's not very generous with the splash damage. And they ended up trading, which kind of sucks. But if you're not really dead on, for the most part, it's not gonna give you the hit. Which is, again, probably a good thing. We don't want this thing to be super over overpowered or anything. You can go for a triple melee and uh, go for a trade. It's the same exact uh, time as it takes to double melee, for those wondering. Yes, you do have to hit them three times, but it's 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 the same thing as double meleeing them, which is which is okay. Dude, I'm getting sandwiched extremely bad right now. There we go. Destroyed star boy. I think this guy might be AFK. Yeah. The, 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 the projectile speed is extremely slow, man. Uh, I know I showed you guys in a private match already, but... Like, when you actually take this in-game, it's uh, it's crazy. I can kind of show you guys here. Hold on. So, you do only do, like, 70 damage. And see, right there! Perfect! It ghosted right there! Did you see that? That's the problem with this thing, is it does not do damage half the time. Which, I don't know if maybe, like, the projectile just disappears at a certain distance or whatnot, but... It's funny, I'm using two swords now. <laughs> or, I guess this is a glaive, not a sword. But you know what I mean. Pushing me... I don't have a, uh... I don't have a nade, unfortunately. Can I go for the melee? Thank you. Hit him once. Is he going to push up? There we go. I'm going to slam down. Go invis. Reload my glaive. Titan's behind me. I almost have my super. Is he going to push up? Melee, melee, melee. Thank you. Are we going to pop super here is the question. Why can't I see him? There he is. Oh, behind me. Oh, Galorn. Woo! Where is he? There he is. Oh, he's lagging. Oh, that's why I couldn't see him right there. It's because he didn't exist. He was freaking teleporting everywhere. I'm going to crouch for a bit. And we're just probably going to double double shoot this guy. No! Oh, yeah! There we go! Awesome. Dude, I wish I was recording the first two kills right there because I had some nice plays on it. But that whole game was okay. Not bad. Kind of showed you guys the issues with this thing, though. GG. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know this was a lot of like, it was short in terms of gameplay. Like I only showed maybe like three or four minutes of gameplay, but uh, this thing, again, it's not really going to be any different. It's very buggy at the moment. I think they should try to fix it. In terms of projectiles, this game has always been very, very weird with it. Uh, and the projectiles just don't hit all the time. The melees whiff a lot. And if they whiff, you get locked in the animation. You can't shoot at them. You can't melee again. You're kind of just standing there just to get shotgunned by people, which is kind of frustrating. I'm excited to see what the exotic ones are like, because if you guys haven't known already, uh, there are exotic ones that came out. So there's three of them, and I think they're very uh, class specific, and you unlock them as the game goes on. I'm not entirely sure how they're going to work, uh, but I'm pretty excited to see how much better they are than the legendary one. Uh, although you can put Icarus on this one, I don't, I don't know entirely how much better it is than the other ones. So we'll have to wait and see. Overall, it's fun, but not really practical if you want to pop off. I don't know if people are going to be using this. Maybe they're going to learn how to do some new combos. Maybe people will get really good with this thing. I'm not entirely sure, but I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.